Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's hot, right? It's a uh, scorcher out there. Today, we're going to talk about something that's going on with everyone's mind with these hot summer months. How to beat the heat, and especially when you have a family, and create lasting memories that are pretty uh, fun while staying cool. I, I recently wrote an article on this topic, I'll link it below. Uh, it's from my blog that I started, which is kind of why I've been away from doing videos for a little bit. Uh, but it is also papabearathome.com. There are all sorts of parenting resources and articles that I'm working on getting out there along with mental health things, etc. But what I'm talking about today is what to do with you and your kids when you're at home and it's just hot so when the temperature really starts soaring there's nothing better than embracing some fun with the water uh, turn your backyard into a mini water park if you can uh, it, you can do like an inflatable pool uh, water slides if, if you have the capability or even just turn on your sprinklers uh, it's an excellent way for the entire family to cool off and have a blast together and don't forget you get in on this too. You don't just be the guy that sits by and let your, let your kids get in on all the fun. Part of the fun of being a dad I have found, especially in the summer, is that when we fill up water balloons, I get to launch water balloons at my kids, and that's positive for all of us. They have fun. I have fun. And some of my frustrations from them not doing, like not getting ready in the morning, just kind of go by the wayside. So that's great. And water balloon fights are timeless classic that never get old. Second, explore nature's shade. When it's just too hot to be outside, explore nature's shade. Find nearby parks, forests, botanical gardens, if you're lucky enough to have them where you live. Uh, just places you can take leisurely strolls under a canopy of trees. Nature walks not only provide relief from the heat, but also allow you to connect the great outdoors and teach your kids about the wonders of nature. For us here in, in the St. Louis area, we have a plethora of parks and uh, especially down in Forest Park where we have our famous zoo that is free to get into. Uh, and, the, and then the, there's obviously the art museum there. There's a, I mean, just, just endless things to do for us nearby that are in the shade and make it easier for us to get to. I would go to your city probably has its own tourism board or a chamber of commerce where they advertise all the things that are in the area to do even take a look at like your state's tourism board web website um i think we're, we're like visitmo.gov or something like that don't quote me on that because i'm not 100 percent sure but you can find ways to get out of the out of the sun and into the shade and really still have a good time or third do something inside. On those scorching afternoons when the sun is at its peak, consider engaging in some fun indoor activities. Host family game days if you're not too competitive like me. If you are too competitive like me, you get to referee. Uh, put out some, uh, put together puzzles or have an arts and crafts session. Uh, I recommend doing arts and crafts over the top of like trash bin liners uh, my mom did that for my kids and I won't go back uh, even parchment paper is, is a good one or wax paper that you can get from like the baking aisle um, it's, it's an excellent opportunity to bond with your loved ones and create cherished memories together fourth chill out with some frozen treats Nothing beats the summer heat like indulging in frozen treats. Gather the family in the kitchen, make your own popsicles or ice cream. There are kits that you can buy on Amazon or Walmart. I'll try to link some below uh, if you can find them. They're fun activities that double as a refreshing treat afterward as well. 
Plus, you can experiment with various flavors and toppings to create your own unique masterpieces. I let your imagination go wild. Kids like it. They get to feel like little chefs. I like it because I get a cool treat. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a no-brainer. Part 5. Plan a water adventure. Summer is the perfect time to plan a water adventure. Whether it's a day at the beach, if you're so lucky, uh, a river floating trip or a rafting trip. Uh, floating trips real big here in the Midwest. Uh, or just a visit to a nearby water park. Uh, the possibilities are essentially endless. Make sure to take the necessary precautions and always prioritize safety, especially when it comes to water-based activities. Make sure that your kids have proper flotation devices or that they're competent swimmers if you're going to like a water park and they're going on to slides and lazy rivers and places that they could easily get swept away. But you know your kids best. You, you'll know what to do. Part 6. A movie night under the stars. As the sun sets and the evening cools down, take advantage of the pleasant weather to have an outdoor movie night under the stars. Set up a projector if you've got one uh, in your backyard, lay out some blankets, snuggle up as a family, and watch your favorite films. So, I know this is not an all-encompassing list, but there you have it. some fantastic ways to beat the heat with your family this summer. Remember, it's all about creating those special moments, enjoying each other's company, and making the most of this your, this wonderful summer season. Uh, if you found any of these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun ideas. And don't forget to check out the article linked down in the description uh, for more detailed information, along with any of my other uh, blog posts. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay cool, stay hydrated, and enjoy your summer. Take care, and bye-bye.